Right, Phonix is next, and there's somebody here who wants to say hello. Who do you think it's going to be? It's Charlie. Say good morning, Charlie. Oh, he says he's missing you all, but he wants to do a bit more learning with you. So what we're going to do is we're going to, today, just for phonics, we're just going to look at only the tricky words and set you a tricky word challenge for the next few weeks, okay? You want for it, Charlie? So what you'll need to do is look in your packs and find the pieces of paper that are clipped together and it's got the tricky word the at the top and we've got orange and then purple towards the bottom. So if you find that first. Okay, when you're ready. So remember, you can pause the videos and keep coming back or if I'm going too fast. Now, Charlie's ready. Now, if we have a look at these and we'll talk to the adults as well about these. The first six, the ones in orange, we've already learnt these, haven't we, Charlie? So, puffins, you should really know these. So let's check first of all. Can you read this one to me? What's it say? It's the, isn't it? It's not t, h, e, because that doesn't make a word. T. So the tricky words are the ones that we just have to learn because they don't sound out. So you need to know the, and make sure you're saying th instead of the th. So it's not the, it's the. So we need to make sure we can read this one. Do you remember what this one is? Remember, it's tricky, so we don't go t, o, it's not t, the bit at the end's tricky, and this word is t, and this bit comes oo, so it's two. Did you get that one? So we've got the, two, what about this one? Yeah, I hope you all remember this one, the tricky word i, and then this one, so it's not n, o, it's not no. It's n, and then this time, and look, that was oo. This time we've got memories. Oh, it's n o. No, can you shout no? Yeah, don't say no to mums and dads though. Right down here. Now, if you remember, this was o. It might help you to read this one. So we've got g, and then o because it's tricky. Go. Can you shout go? Oh, you don't be rude. Right, the last one is the trickiest of all, isn't it? But we did learn this just before the Christmas holidays. Now, the first two letters, if you split it up here, look, you should be able to sound that out and know that word. And then you should notice we saw that up there. So can you work it out? So we've got I, N, in, and then the tricky word to, into, okay? So parents and adults who are working with the children so if you first of all if you cut these six out puffins and it'd be good if the children to do that to practice their cutting skills and go through and maybe you can have a pile of the ones that you do know and the pile of the ones that you need to remember still because these are the words that actually we should know already so if you don't not a problem and that's your first challenge is to make sure you look at these tricky words every day until you know them all, all right? So if you know this one, you don't need to keep looking at that every day. You wanna look at the ones that you don't. So that's your first challenge. Every puffin should be able to learn to read just by looking at them, these first six tricky words. Now, when you've had a look at those, we're also today, let's go down to the purple stage because we're onto a new set of phonics and we haven't even looked at the purple cards. So if you know all the six already of the orange, you can, if you want to, work your way through the purple ones. So you can cut them out and work through just like you will do with the orange. But I would make sure you know the orange ones first and then start onto these, all right? But all together this week, let's see if we can learn this tricky word here. Now, what's this letter here? What's the sound, the phoneme? So it's now, we would say, what would you say for this one? Yeah, eh, and that would say, ha, eh, he. And that's not right in this word. This tricky word here, the eh, we've got to say its name, and the name of this letter, do you know what the name of that letter is? It's E. So we need to learn that this one says, 
E, he. So there's a challenge for you, okay? So that's what I'd like you to have a look at this morning in phonics. Make sure you practice these ones and work out which ones do you need to keep practicing each day and learn the new tricky word, he. Now remember, we, we sometimes hide the words around the room so you could go on a tricky word hunt around the house. We look for the words in books as well to see how many different ways that you can learn to read the six tricky orange words and then start the first of the purple. If you want a real challenge, see how many of the purple words you can read while you're at home over the next few weeks. All right, so you've got six orange ones. The, two, I, no, go, into. And Charlie, can you remember what the new one today is? The new purple tricky word? He. Okay, good luck Puffins.